Hey everybody, it's May 29th, 2018, and this is News Break for a Tuesday. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, let me just talk to you for a second about a slight change in format. I've decided that Donald Trump has monopolized the conversation, the national conversation, just a little too much. And so therefore, I am not going to report on Donald Trump's comings and goings, uh, except when they're really, really, really important, world-changing, or are really news, and not just more minutia that is using to get uh, attention. So uh, let me let you know that, because I think there's so many other stories in the world that are important that need reporting, and I think that takes away from it when we report about Trump. So it's going to be a policy of this news break to avoid Trump stories unless they're really important. I want to start off today with a picture, with our photograph of the day. And I chose this before I chose this as my first story, but you'll see why it's the first story. Look at these people. Why are they so happy? Well, they're in Ireland, and an initiative to repeal Ireland's abortion law was overwhelmingly successful. Uh, final total indicated that 66.4% of voters cast ballots to repeal the country's Eighth Amendment to its constitution in Friday's referendum, a very Catholic country that has finally decided uh, to do things right. A country that's decided to do things wrong is the United States. Same kind of story, different outcome. The U.S. Supreme Court refused to hear a challenge to a controversial new Arkansas law that blocks medication-induced abortions. The case, Planned Parenthood of Arkansas, and Eastern Oklahoma versus Jegley appeared on the court's uh, denial list, meaning the case will not get a hearing before the court. So Ireland overturns years of, uh, of, of problems in, in this area, and we, well, we're just a little bit different, aren't we? We're assholes. Uh, Ivanka Trump's brand, now this is a Trump story, but this is not about Donald. Ivanka Trump's brand continues to win foreign trademarks in, of all places, surprise, surprise, China and the Philippines, adding to questions about conflicts of interference at the White House. On Sunday, China granted the First Daughters Company final approval for its 13th trademark in the last three months. Over the same period, the Chinese government has granted Ivanka Trump's company provisional approval for eight other trademarks which can be finalized if no objections are raised during the three-month comment period. Is there something smelly and stinky there? Israel's military launched airstrikes into Gaza Tuesday to retaliate for a large mortar attack against Israeli settlements. The strikes came shortly after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to respond with great force to the attacks. Things are really fine in that part of the world. Maybe, maybe another Nobel Prize is in the offing for somebody here. British judge Nick Madge this month called for a ban on knives with sharp points in an effort to decrease knife violence in the country. You know, they've had a lot of knife violence uh, there. The gun people like to point that out. Well, you know, when they don't use uh, guns, they're using knives. Well, he pointed out that knife crime rose 22% in England and Wales during 2017, so he suggested that the rounded kitchen knives be used instead of the common style of sharp pointed knives, and that could help assuage the problem because other policies to prevent knife violence have had no effect. By the way, uh, uh, Nick Madge is retiring. Now, I have been going, I've been working out, right, every day to the point where my body is aching and full of, racked full of pain. I'm toting that barge and lifting that bale. I also lost 55 pounds, and I feel very good about that. Well, every time you feel good about something, the good is taken away. This report comes out that obesity brings with it many health ills, but there could also be a silver lining. If you're in the hospital with an infectious disease, you're half as likely to die if you're overweight or obese. That's according to Danish researchers. The surprise finding was that overweight patients, get this, are 40% less likely to die than obese patients, uh, uh, and obese patients, let me take that again, 
It's Tuesday. Come on. The surprise finding was that overweight patients were 40% less likely to die and that obese patients were 50% less likely to die compared with normal weight patients. So I'm going to start putting that weight on again because I don't want to die young. In an effort to reduce maritime litter, the European Commission, the EU's legislative body, proposed new rules banning 10 single-use plastics. Plastics account for 80%, by the way, of all the marine litter, those giant islands out in the middle of the Pacific as an example. And 70% of that litter is made up of the products listed in the newly proposed rules, including plastic cotton swabs, cutlery, plates, straws, drink stirrers, and balloon sticks. Here, we're still arguing with it at McDonald's. And finally, in entertainment news, Solo, a Star Wars story, is the number one movie in the North American box office, earning $83.3 million in receipts over the weekend. Number two, Deadpool 2, and followed by Avengers, Infinity War at number three. Well, hey, let's take a look at our clip of the day from our show that happened on Friday. And we were talking about great playwrights. This is a little bit of an intellectual clip. And Ray Renati told us about his uh, coming together with a very famous playwright who is no longer with us. You know, I met oh. Arthur Miller, and I had a I had a 10-minute conversation with him about 25 years ago. Yeah. And it was, I'll never forget. Was I, a, he was giving autographs at San Jose State University, and I was the last one in line. They were having a two-week Arthur Mel Miller celebration, and I was the last one in line, and uh, we shook hands. He signed a copy of um, A View from the Bridge for me, and mm -hmm. we were just, it was just him and I in the gym talking about death of a salesman because I got to play Biff and he was talking about the character and he was the nicest guy. Uh, and um, you know, I, I, mean, it, 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 I always had wondered why Marilyn Monroe had married this nerd, you know? But you see those pictures? No, he was not only nice, he's strikingly handsome. Like even when he was 80 years old, he was like, okay, now I get it. <laughs> and really tall and strong. It was like, you know, okay, those pictures words. don't do him justice. Yeah, great story. Uh, hey, listen, you can hear our Citizens Panel and watch our Citizens Panel each and every uh, Tuesday through Friday. Like tonight, you'll be able to watch it. Uh, and uh, it's uh, right down there at youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live. That's for the video of it. If you want the audio of it, you can go to our net, a gabnet.net site, and there's a thing at the top you can click, and you can hear the audio. If you want to see the picture, just look below because it's also on that GabNet page when we're live. Uh, also, we're uh, after the fact on Facebook, after the fact on YouTube, or after the fact on the uh, live stream. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 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 um, yeah, iTunes. Yeah, we're on iTunes as well. Uh, we're all over the place. So go to our GabNet.net page. You'll find out all the ways you can listen to it. I'll see you again tomorrow. The same time, same station in life, as I like to say. Have a nice day, everybody.